From the borough of Queens in Flushing, New York, welcome to beautiful City Field. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the L.A. Dodgers and the New York Mets. A big-time arm and a power back should be fun. First pitch is next. Matt Harvey is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Mets. What do you have for us on him, E.K.? Well, guys, remember, he's not a lot of fun to face because he's got five pitches. As a hitter, you've got to worry about the ball coming in, moving away, the speed. He's a lot to handle when you're up at the plate. Now to the plate, Howie Kendrick, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Harvey steps into his windup, coming home with the 1-1 pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's 1-2. And, and you know what? These days, so many guys are throwing in the high 90s. It makes those mid to low 90s guys look easy. But I'll tell you what. If he mixes his pitches well, it can still be plenty fast to have to deal with. And that's high for a ball. It's 2-2. Two and two. You know, I think you have to ask yourself, was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there? Or was he just trying to set me up for that changeup away? A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Corey Seager waits on deck. And he lays off, ball four. That's exactly what you want your leadoff man to do, work the count and get on base. Corey Seager. We'll stand in here with a runner at first to start the inning. Now, I know both of you are more familiar with the art of hitting as opposed to the art of pitching, but on a wet night like this, who do you think this favors? Well, I, I think it favors the pitcher. I know they're going to argue well the grip, but the ball doesn't carry on a wet night. So if I'm out there, I'm saying, look, pitcher advantage. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Hit out towards second. To Cabrera for one. Back to first, but he wasn't able to get enough on the throw, and they'll just get one. Coming to the plate now, Justin Turner. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Boy, not close again. His third walk of the inning as that misses for ball four. Yasiel Puig steps up to the plate with a great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Back to Duda. A double play and the inning is over. Just what the doctor ordered. He gets the double play to get him out of the inning. It's on to the bottom of the first. No score on the show. Clayton Kershaw is on the mound for the Dodgers in this contest. E.K., what do you got? Well, guys, remember, he's got five pitches to work with, so that really makes it difficult for the hitter. He can change speeds, ball moving in and out. Not a lot of fun for the hitters. To two balls and two strikes now. And this is swung on and missed by Granderson, and that's the first down of the inning. Time now to take a look at Terry Collins' Mets starting lineup in this one. Eric, who should we keep an eye on? Yeah, you know, I love what the grandy man, Curtis Granderson, does for this ball club. I think he does a great job of taking what's given to him. Never tries to do too much. Knows how to extend an at bat and get the pitch he's looking for. With a moment now, let's take a look at the defensive alignment for the Dodgers. It's brought to us by Majestic. EK, what do you got? Well, guys, remember, this manager has not jumped on board with all the defensive shifts. Still that old school mentality. Plays guys straight up. So we'll see how that impacts this game. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. We're off to the second, scoreless on the show. Yosmani Grandal makes his way to the plate. 
He'll get us started here in the top of the second. Hit softly on the ground to first. Duda is right there, and he'll take this to the bag himself, and the leadoff man set down to start the second. And with that, let's take a look at the defense for the New York Mets. It's brought to us by Majestic. Eric, what do we need to know? Well, Matty, if there's a ball hit out to center field in this one, and I'm the third base coach, <laughs> I am not going to send him. He has a cannon out there in center field. Everybody knows it. We'll see if he gets a chance to show it off in this one. Center field. Jock Peterson Jock. takes his first shot Peterson. here with the runner at first now and one away. No score here as we play inning number two. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Ground ball to second. This could be two. The second for one on the first. And that's two innings and two double plays they've hit into so far as the inning is over. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Through an inning and a half, no score on the show. Joanna Cespedes strides into the box now to lead off the home half of the second inning. And this is a guy that can make a big change in this game with one swing of the bat because you know he has big time power. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Nope. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. And set up behind the plate is Joe McDonald, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew in this one. Yeah, Joe has a little bit of a tough strike zone to figure out, guys. It's never too crazy in any one direction, but it's not always as consistent as some people would hope. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Hey, you know what? That's all right. He gave him a pretty good battle up there. He never gave in to him. A walk you can work around. A home run, you can't. Keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike, too. Uh, now you got to beware of that sinker. I mean, he'd take a strikeout right now, but I think he still just wants this guy to hit the ball on the ground. Out Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. You can see where they want to go to try and get him out. A lot of pitches in on the hands in this sequence. They don't want him to be able to extend. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Striding into the box, Travis Garneau. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. Michael Conforto set to take his first cuts with a man at first and two away. Yeah, and he's going to have to find a gap to give that man on first a chance to score. In the dirt, and now let's see. But fortunately here, no advance. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Mets strand one. We'll move to the third with no score. Clayton Kershaw set to lead off the third. Nine, one, and two due up. Well, you know it's always a tough inning when your pitcher leads off for you because most of the time the guys just flat out can't hit. But who knows? Maybe he can get something started here and help himself out. Harvey gets the sign. Here it is on a ball and two strikes. Grounded up the first baseline. Duda's up with it. And he'll take this to the bag of three unassisted for the first out. Second baseman number 47. How 
Joey Kendrick will get a second shot now. He worked out a walk to open the ball game. And you know, Matty, it was a really good at bat he put together, too. He saw a lot of pitches, and that's exactly what you want from your hey. leadoff guy. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. Now that he's fully loose out there, you can see he's getting a little more zip on that fastball than he had coming out of the gate. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but it gets by the glove down the line. Even though this ball gets to the wall, I think it's still the right decision to stay at first. The way this was shaping up, I'm not so sure he was going to make it, so he'll just hold on with a loud single. Standing in now, Corey Seager. Sent on the ground out to second. Walker's got it. Throw gets him. Two down. Adrian Gonzalez steps in for his second at bat. A fielder's choice his first time around. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. Still a base open here, so you don't have to come in with one if you don't want to. And he takes ball four. So now at least they're set up for the force at any base here with two away. Now Justin Turner stands in with two on and two Justin out here in the third. Turner. And you know, some guys just get better with runners in scoring position and two outs. This is a... And gone right down the line the other way. Wow. Three-run home run down the line in right. And the Dodgers have now taken a 3-0 lead. Well, this is a fastball on the outside third of the plate. You look at him just reach those arms out and really drive this thing the other way. It didn't stay fair by much, but if you can steer him near the poles... You don't have to hit him 400 feet. Stepping in now, Yasiel Puig. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. But the Dodgers strike for three, all courtesy of the three-run home run. We play two and a half. It's now three-nothing Los Angeles as Drupal Cabrera digs into the box in the bottom of inning number three. That's going to even up the count at two and two. Set to deal on two and two. Got him swinging in the dirt. The throw down to first, one away. Matt Harvey settles into the box for his first chance. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw on to Gonzalez, and that's out number two. So two gone in the inning for Curtis Granderson. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. 3-1 is a fastball, and he can't connect 3-2. and two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Mets go down 1-2-3. They trail it here 3-0. Yosmani Grandal is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. And they jumped out to that early lead, so now it's all about just adding on. And here's a ball hit in the air. Duda is there for it. One out. Now batting. Left fielder. At the plate, Carl Crawford. He singled his last time up. Harvey sets his sights. Looking for the strikeout here on 0 and 2. Up and in now here as he had to two. bend out of danger. Uh, you got to be careful with that inside location on 0 and 2. The last thing you want to do is hit him. Hard hit ball to second. And this will get through into right. And he's aboard with a single. 
Well, that's a nice piece of now defensive batting. hitting right there. What I mean by that, John. with two strikes, you've got to open that zone up a little because you don't want to get caught looking at strike three. So he lets it fly here on a pitch pretty well out of the zone, but he makes it work out for him. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. He just keeps getting himself into trouble out there. Here's another guy that you've got to make swing the bat. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. And this is a guy who will not get cheated up there, and he almost came three. out of his shoes on that one. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, some guys use the fastball to get to two strikes and then use something else to get you out. Not this guy. He works backwards here and winds up getting him with back-to-back -back fastballs in the end. Into the box now, Clayton Kershaw. I changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it one and two now. And this is exactly what he does so well. He'll make you so convinced that you're going to see a fastball, and then he's going to go the other way on you. Down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a liner. Solid base hit for him, his first of the afternoon. Here comes Crawford around third. And he is safe at the plate. It's now a 4-0 game. Well, time for another old baseball cliche. It's a game of inches. And it was on this ball. Take a look at how close this is to the foul line. And this is not a fair ball by a whole lot, but I guarantee it. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Dodgers get one in the inning on the RBI double. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 4-0 L.A. David Wright is set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Still pretty early, but they don't have any hits yet, so you need to get it going offensively. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Stepping in, Lucas Duda. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and they fanned him on a fastball last time, so let's see if they come at him with the hard stuff again. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Duda is retired, two down now. Yoenis Cespedes will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another one, two, three inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. And a low throw, but some fine dirt work there by Gonzalez as he digs this one out to end the inning. Corey Seager will come forward to lead things off here for the Dodgers with Adrian Gonzalez due to hit next. Harvey's ready. Here's the one-two. Liner towards second. And that is through into right field for a single. As we look at that again, you know, this is not a bad pitch by any stretch. If he throws this pitch ten times, I bet he gets him out nine of them. But here you just have to tip your cap to the guy at the plate. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Well, anybody who calls this place home will tell you this is not a home run hitting park, but it will give up its share of doubles. And this one moves runners to second and third now as they're looking to cash in. A couple of men in scoring position here with none down. Foul right at the plate. The count moves now to one and two. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that is through into center field. A base hit. Notch one in the score column as a runner from third crosses the plate. Now a 5-0 lead. Yasiel Puig stands into the box. He's 0 for 2 so far in this one. Looks like a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. Now a ball hit for right. This could be two. He's got it to Walker for one. But they will not get them both as he beats out the back end and drives home the run from third. The catcher, 
Yosmani Grandal will get his third shot at it here. He's bounced out and popped out in his previous two trips. Pitch inside the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. Set to deliver on two and one. Oh, tough pitch. Things just not going his way on the mound right now. Three and one. And now, with him really starting to labor out there, I think he just wants to get out of this fifth inning. And even if he does, that might be the last we see of him. Left side. Gloved by right. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. So two men are on with one man out. And here comes the speedy Carl Crawford. Lined hard toward right center. But this will not get out there deep enough as it's run down by the right fielder in the alley for the second out. Yeah, you really can't take anything for granted out there when you're playing in the rain. You got to worry about your footing. You got to worry about raindrops getting in your eyes. You got to make sure you're in the right position. But in the end, he is right there to make the play. Six runs, eight hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. And he looks at one that misses. And that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. Clayton Kershaw will stand in now with the bases loaded, two away, and a chance to really help himself out. And at the very least, he's got to focus on getting something in play. He can really help himself out with just a simple single here. The one-two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. You see anything mechanically that leaps out at Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. So they do strike for two, but it could have been much worse as they strand the bases loaded. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Dodgers lead it six to nothing. Neil Walker will stand in to start things out here in the home half of the fifth. And you get the sense, Steve, that this crowd's been pretty well taken out of the ballgame to this point. Yeah, they pretty much had to sit on their hands all afternoon. Not a lot to get excited about so far. And I think that's a credit to that man out there on the mound. He's cut right through this lineup for the first four innings. Travis Darno is into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. A look at our line score to this point, and I'm almost certainly jinxing things by pointing it out, but it's worth mentioning that zero in the hit column through two outs here in the fifth. On a swing to forget there, it's back even at two and two. Boy, not only are these guys not getting on base, they're not even getting off any good swings. That's the swing of a guy who's really out to sea right there. And Kershaw can't find the target there as he's run it as far as it can go now. It's three and two. Drilled on the ground is short. Seeger takes it in. Throw will go to Adrian at first, and with it, the side is retired. Howie Kendrick steps in here to lead off the sixth as the rain continues to fall here. Sean Gilmartin will come on now to try and sort this mess out as he'll likely be asked to go at least a few innings here. Well, I'm glad I'm up in this cozy booth with you guys because it kind of looks pretty miserable down there to me. And it looks now like a right-hander's begun to get loose in the Mets' bullpen. Skied into straightaway right. After it is Granderson. One down. The batter, number four. Corey Seager Short steps in. He scored Corey after reaching on Seager. a single this last time up. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. One and two, here it comes. Drilled right back up the middle. And that'll find its way into center field for a one-out hit. Adrian Gonzalez steps in here. He'll look to keep it going after hitting a double and scoring a run last time up. Yeah, it's been an offensive explosion for him today. And let's see if they can keep it going. So Cabrera for one. On to first, and the throw goes right by him. Yeah, and right here, he Up knew that at second Dodgers. base, he was going to have to hurry this baseman. throw back to first Justin if he had any chance Turner. to double him up. And you see his throw get away from him, but since there's no advancement, it's going to be a straight fielder's choice, no error on the play. Justin Turner will step toward the box here and as he does we flash you back to inning number three as you check out his three run home run a big blow early on 
And that's in there for a base hit, his third hit of the game. The right fielder, number six. Yasiel Puig will stand in. One of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. Yeah, guys. Oh, hang on now. This ball is smoked to right, and I don't think this one's coming back. No chance. It's gone. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Oh, and he's a strike away from getting out of this unscored upon, but you can see the location mistake there. And now, all of a sudden, he goes from possibly hanging a goose egg to serving up a three-run home run. In now, Yosmani Grandal. Strike three, and that'll put an end to a big inning. But the big blow of the inning comes right here, a three-run home run. On to the bottom of the sixth. It's the Dodgers nine and the Mets nothing. As Drubal Cabrera will dig in now as he'll lead things off for the Mets in their half of the sixth. Well, they've got some work to do here, but there's still a lot of time left in this game. So just chip away, chip away. On to first with it is Kendrick, and it's in plenty of time for the first out. A pitcher number 36, Sean Gil Martin. Juan Ligaris will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. And, oh, he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here. Two and two now. And that has been the comfort zone so far in this outing. He's just lived on that outside corner, and it's paid big dividends for him. Peterson giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. Right, Curtis Granderson three. will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. Well, we've been talking about it a lot, but this offense is just getting shut down right now. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air, and a ball that he got every stitch of, as that one, without a doubt, is gone. A solo home run for Curtis Granderson. And they're now on the board, though still well behind. Well, with the hole they dug themselves here early, it's definitely a long road back. But stranger things have happened, and who knows? Or maybe we'll look back on this home run as being the one that got the huge comeback started. Into the box, David Wright. Sinker misses that time, and it's 2-1. and one. A much better approach here at the plate so far. Well, he's not working from behind in the count like he has his first few at-bats. He's fallen behind now, 3-1. and one. You figure he should get something good to hit here. They don't want to walk him and put him on for the heart of the order. Oh, this is hit hard towards second. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. The relay throw, and he is back safely at first, and that was almost trouble. Yeah, he, he got a little revenge there. He struck out twice before that, and now he gets him back with a solid base hit. Lucas Duda, ready to take another shot, went down on strikes his last time up. Well, at the very least, he went down hacking. Striking out is one of the many frustrations that go along with hitting, and you have to accept that it's going to happen sometime. Fastball, not close, and he runs it to two balls and a strike. Man, and he's nowhere near that pitch. It's two and two. You go back to the curveball here. I'd stay away. I'd go curveball or even slider, but I got to get it out over the plate. My job as a pitcher, expand the zone. Make the hitter swing at pitches that are off the plate. Still two and two. One run, two hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Kershaw comes set. Here's the two and two. 
Hit high, but foul as that'll get in amongst the fans. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. Mets do get one back, though, on the solo home run. Bottom third of the order, 7-8-9, due up to start the seventh. It's the Dodgers 9 and the Mets 1. Addison Reed will come on now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Now a fastball here that'll wisely lay off, and it's one and two. Not a real good 0-2 there. You don't necessarily want it in the zone, but you do want to at least give him something to think about. In now, Jock Peterson. He drew a walk his first time. Reed's ready. Here's the 2-1. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Clayton Kershaw steps in for a fourth plate appearance tonight. And why not? He's been in control all game. But right there is the second baseman. And that will retire the side. One, two, three go the Dodgers. But they still hold a commanding nine to one lead. Yoenis Cespedes will stand in to lead off the inning. Middle third of the lineup, four, five, and six, as they try to get something going. And this whole lineup's been pretty quiet all game long. Just the one run, that's it. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters. 13 strikeouts now. So one gone in the inning, and here's the second baseman, Neil Walker. Walker. To short, hit hard. To his left, Seeger. Throw on to first will take care of him, and Kershaw is in control now. Two away. Up next for the Mets. Travis Darno stands into the box. He's 0 for 2 so far in this one. A wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Can't quite get the low outside corner there. It's one and two. And that man right there, he's got to figure out some kind of combination to score some runs for him. They have really been stuck for him. Hit hard to short. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Down in order go the Mets. They trail big. It's nine to one. Howie Kendrick comes to the plate and he'll start us off in the eighth and guys this is the guy you want leading off this inning he's your leadoff man so maybe he can get things started set the table for a little bit of a round one and two and he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out well out of the bullpen he's phased four struck out three that's what you want from your relievers. You want them to come in and go right after guys. And that's just what they've done. Oh, textbook slider there, and he's back at even two and two. Really a good job so far by this guy out of the bullpen. Yeah, he's come in and really put his stamp on this game. Throwing a lot of strikes. That's what you want. And a fastball blew it right by him, and they're two down. Yeah, make it back-to-back -back strikeouts here to start the inning. Too much for the top of the lineup setting the table. Reed sets. Here's the one and one. And a fastball not close. It's two and one now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Change up. Called a strike and he comes back even at two and two. Yeah, it's hard to look for a change up there, especially when a guy's got a good live fastball. Got him looking and that ends the inning. Dodgers down in order, but they still hold a commanding nine to one lead. Michael Conforto will stand in to start out their half of the eighth with that starter still out there, and he's definitely been a tough nut to crack. 
No, he's been dominant all game long. And I think part of it is that he got himself a nice lead early on. And that's allowed him to not really worry about making a mistake. He's been free and easy the whole way through. Here's the one and one pitch. A swinging bunt to the mound. Throw on to Gonzalez, and that's out number two. The pitcher, number 43, Addison Reed. Alejandro Deaza will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number six. Two out, nobody on. Alejandro Deaza. That one's in there, three and one. High strikes, probably not on the docket for places he wants to be. Yeah, I mean, it's no secret you've got to keep the ball down against a team like this. If you go up every once in a while with a fastball, you'll be fine. But you're not going to last too long if you make a habit of working up there with your secondary pitches. Drilled on the ground is short. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. Digging in and looking for more, Curtis Granderson. He went deep in his first at-bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Yeah, he absolutely crushed it earlier. So let's see if he can get into another one in this at-bat. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. And this one gets away. But fortunately, no advance. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Easy there, big fella. Two and two. Coming up on the century mark in pitches now through the first seven and two-thirds. Now here's a ball hit in the air to straightaway right field. This ball's got plenty of carry to it, and it is out of here. A two-run home run for Curtis Granderson, his second of the game, and this lead has been cut to just six now. Well, you know it has a tendency to get overlooked here that two-out single that kept this inning alive. I mean, you, you take nothing away from the guy that just hit the home run, but this is what happens when teams put up a fight there with two away. Pays off for him big time. David Wright will stand in to keep things going, and I don't know, Steve, is the comeback on? Well, at the very least, I like that they're showing some character out there. You never want to go down. And a good effort as he's able to stick with it and get the third out of the inning. But the Mets do strike for two, both coming on this two-run home run. On to the ninth inning from City Field. It's now 9-3. Jerry Blevins will come on now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. 2-1, here it is. Hits it high and deep out to center field. Cespit is going back. Oh, and this deflects right off him. And he'll pull into second with his fourth hit of the ball game. Off the bat, I thought this thing might be caught, but it just keeps going and going, and he nearly got it out of here as he winds up hitting it off the track. He's into second base here with a leadoff double. Yasiel Puig will come up now in yet another big RBI opportunity. And he's got four already, and he's got a chance to make this a game to remember. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. To two and two now. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. 
Yeah, and you know what? I think we're going to see a lot of this. He's pitching backwards a little bit here. It's a two-strike cut fastball running in, and that guy is no match up there at the plate. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. To two oh, balls and two strikes now. Curveball, and he buckled him, but it's full three and two. Well, he watched that one all the way in, and it looked like he almost gave up on it. He's pretty lucky that wasn't called strike three. One out and a runner on second base. He spoils another one, and we'll do it again. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. How about it? Ready now, Carl Crawford. Already two for two. He'll look to add on right here. And Crawford swings and misses at that one. A strikeout victim for out number two. Jock Peterson stands into the box. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. Dodgers strand a couple, but they lead it by a margin of 9 to 3. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Yimi Garcia will come in now working with a huge lead, so he'll just look to get some work in here. Yimi Garcia. Now playing center field and batting the Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball, one and two now. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. That's a pitch you have to lay off right there. That tight slider busting down and out of the zone. All that can do is tie you up. And he struck him out again. So that's the old sombrero there, partner. Four strikeouts in the ballgame. The center fielder number. Joanna Cespedes stands Jonas into the box. Cespedes. He's 0 for 2 so far in this one. Fastball close, but he didn't get it 2 and 1. And that's not a bad spot. Just go ahead and stay out there. Don't come down the middle because we know he can hurt you. Uh, I could have been 3 and 1. Instead, it's 2 and 2. Boy, when he's got that thing going good. It just takes a nosedive right at the end. Full count. Three and two. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. And he makes the throw to first. Cespedes is retired. Two down now. Neil Walker stands in looking to put the bat on the ball for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. And the fastball easy to lay off that time. Two and two. In line for the victory is Clayton Kershaw should the lead hold. Just out in front of that one still two and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. line towards center field that gets down and he's got himself a base hit now stepping up to the plate gotcha. Travis Darno. he got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time has him down to their final strike here it comes not a bad pitch there with two strikes but it misses one and two Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. And you know what? I don't care who you're playing. You know, it's never easy to go out on the road and win any game. So that was a great effort by them in every phase of the game.
And as we wrap things up here, what do you say we name this guy right here as the recipient of our Tops Player of the Game Award? Yeah, he was definitely a big part of this victory. You see there, four RBIs for him in the ball game. He came through when they needed him to, and he was instrumental in the win. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Eric Karros and Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click on over to theshownation.com. The Dodgers win it 9-3. Good night from Flushing.